Well, greetings, viewers. Voyeurs got that funk with you, and I was just about to skip off out and enjoy some of the weekend goodies when um, I remembered that today is my fifth anniversary here on YouTube, and I wanted to just do a brief sort of rundown about the history of Got That Funk. Um, I couldn't think of anything else to do for my anniversary. I actually I thought of a few things, but uh, basically one thing led to another, and I'm just too fucking lazy these days, but to whatever. Anyway, first of all, before I say anything else, I want to thank every single person who's ever clicked the subscribe button when they've watched a video of mine. I'm always interested, by the way, to find out, uh, if you remember, what made you subscribe to me in the first place. Um, and if you're a viewer who's never left me a comment on any of my videos, I would encourage you to do so now and just say hi, uh, let me know how long you've been watching, uh, that kind of thing, what sort of videos you liked or uh, what made you subscribe. I'm always interested to find this kind of stuff out. It's fascinating to me. Now, I started my channel um, on this date in 2009, and um, my first video was kind of embarrassing. I'll link it in the description anyway, just for your amusement. It's called My Delusion of Grandeur, and uh, is basically me pretending that I'm God. Uh, it's meant to be funny. I've done about a hundred so or so comedy videos on my channel. Of course, what I consider to be comedy, uh, you might not, but uh, there we are. Um, about one in ten of the videos that I've done over the five years I've made videos on this channel have had something to do with either atheism or religion or spirituality. So I don't really labor those issues too much on this channel. Although most of the videos I have done on that kind of subject were in the first sort of year that I was making videos. It's my own opinion that uh, 2009 and 2010 were the best period of Got That Funk. And, um, I'm hoping to uh, rectify that situation by uh, getting more proactive and enthusiastic with the videos that I make and the comments that I leave on other people's videos and so forth. Um, in the five years I've been making videos, I've done more than 250 video responses to people's videos that I've seen. And I've been fortunate enough to have terrific video responses um, from other people. In uh, 2009, I was uh, basically it was a lot of videos from me about uh, you know uh, religion, atheism. Uh, Proposition Eight in California was getting a lot of traction back then, and I talked an awful lot about uh, homophobia in '09 and '010. And '010 um, is that a word? Uh, what it is now? Um, anyway, um, yeah, those are like. Uh, topics that were really big on this channel um, in the beginning, but I've talked about everything and I will continue to do so. Um, just a little bit of statistical information. Uh, I've, as I say, I've done 250 plus video responses. I've had nearly a thousand video responses to my videos. Um, a lot of those were for the Fuck You series that I did back in 2010. I got about 600 video responses to my Have You Seen This Man campaign, which was very similar to the Draw Muhammad campaign in in most ways, uh, except for the intention of Have You Seen This Man was never to offend anybody, it was to make people think. Um, and I do think that's a distinction worth making. Um, 2010 here in the community that I was in, in YouTube, that's when things started to go a bit wrong. Uh, early on in 2010, um, there was about three or four weeks where Myself and a lot of the people that I was subscribed to um, and watching were making videos on the topic of rape. And uh, it exposed an awful lot of animosity and uh, it divided the community. And I think the community that I was part of never really properly healed after that. I think uh, people's personality clashes uh, became a little bit more obvious to everybody um, during that time. But yeah, in 010, I did the. Um, the Fuck You series, I did the Have You Seen This Man video. There was a lot of tag videos going on back then. A lot of mirror videos were going on back then. So 2010 was a bit of a weird year. In June of 2011 to July of 2013, I was involved in a romantic relationship. And so I didn't quite completely let my channel go dormant. But I did stop making videos that were on substantive topics. It was mostly just a bunch of frivolous videos for the most part during that period of time. Um, I think in the two years that I was uh, in that relationship, I made fewer than a hundred videos. Where normally a hundred videos takes me about three months. Um, so 
yeah, I, I, I have moments of being prolific when it comes to my video making and you need to be ready for that because there might be times when I've got free days where I do two or three or four videos in a day. That won't happen very often, um, but it used to and it might again. And I do want to get back into making more creative videos. Uh, sorry, I keep on getting distracted. History of the channel, right? Uh, just some just some bare statistics. I'm amused to find out that uh, even after all these years, my most viewed video has always been the same ever since I ever since I first made it. That's my how to have sex for women only video. And I find it amusing that that video's had more than a hundred thousand views. It was really meant to be just a tongue in cheek kind of a jokey sort of a video. And uh, there was a time in 2010 where someone in India must have got hold of it and did some kind of mass emailing to their friends because for about three weeks in 2010, I got like 6,000 views on the video all in India. <laughs> so I don't know if they thought the video was meant to be serious instruction about how to have sex or whether they understood the sort of comedic side to it. Whatever, it doesn't really matter. My second most video, there's actually a story behind that. It's called Shape Shifting Human Reptilian Hybrids. And um, I made that uh, just before Christmas in 2009. And the reason I made it was to lose subscribers. And let me tell you the whole story. Uh, when I first met the user Beware the Lizards 42, we uh, hit it off like a house on fire. We, we, we still get along great, even though she doesn't make videos anymore. We're still in contact. Anyway, back in those days, when I first discovered her channel in spring of 2009, I could see that she was gaining subscribers rapidly and her, her channel was very well, well regarded. And I said I had about, uh, I think when I said it, I had about 700 uh, subscribers at the time and uh, she had like 300. And I said, oh, don't worry, you'll pass me up before Christmas. And my channel was growing pretty fast in 2009 and so was hers. But as Christmas was approaching, I was about 60 or 70 subscribers ahead of her and it was like, for some reason, really important to me to be right about my prediction that she would pass me up by Christmas, right? So two or three days before Christmas, I make this video called Shapeshifting Human Reptilian Hybrids, knowing that if I acted like I seriously believed in that, that some of my <laughs> skeptical viewers would go, what a fucking idiot, and unsubscribe, right? Which is exactly what happened. I made the video. Um, the day I made that video, I had 26 people unsubscribed. The next day, I had more than a dozen unsubscribed. Meanwhile, uh, BTL42's subscriptions were going up and up and up. And uh, as it turned out, I, my prediction was exactly right. It was on Christmas Day at about 11 o'clock at night that her subscription number went past mine, and that was somewhere around the 1260 mark, as I recall. Anyway, um, I don't know why it was so important to me to be right about that, but I'm amused that that video, which was completely tongue-in-cheek as far as I was concerned, and absolutely not serious, and had a specific function, in order to lose me subscribers has turned into my second most viewed video. It's got like 30 something thousand views. And uh, the comment section is fucking hilarious because about half the people are divided saying, oh, this guy making the video is obviously an idiot. And the other half of the people in the comment section are, hey, I'm glad someone's standing up and telling the truth. You've got guts. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Uh, and, and I'm looking over the uh, library of videos. You know, I've got 860 or 70 videos loaded onto my channel. Uh, fewer than 600 of those, though, are available for public view. Uh, my channel's had a little bit, uh, of the 860-odd, I've got over a million views, but the public view uh, ones are about 760,000 or so. And uh, the most commented video I've ever had is no longer on public display. That was my reply to Pat Condell and his video called Ban the Burka. I've had that privated for years, it's, um, but I still have it on my channel. Uh, the reason I keep unlisted and private videos on my channel and I don't delete them is because I want to save the comments sections, because the comments section really is what YouTube's all about for me, really. Um, well, 51%, 49%. 51% of why I'm here is because I like making and watching videos, and 49% is because I like making and receiving comments on videos. So it's a pretty tight call there. Anyway, with my Ban the Burka video, the reason I privated it, even though it was getting a lot of views, was the vitriol in the comment section was absolutely awful. Uh, I had like 1,500 or something like that comments on that video, and basically it was Muslim haters and Muslims arguing with each other about the Burka or the Quran or Islam in general. And there was an awful lot of uh, 
extreme racism and 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 uh, Islamophobia going on and you know anti-Western stuff going on and I just didn't have the patience for it. I you know I, I thought well you know I don't need this. I I don't need the hassle of it. Um, and uh, so I privatized it, but. Um, I do keep it on my channel because it's part of the history of this channel and that's another reason I keep old videos. I mean, don't get me wrong, I have deleted videos over the course of the five years I've been here, but sometimes I keep them for the comment section. Um, the most interesting comment section, if you ask me anyway, um, is from a, my video called The Female Orgasm. Um, I strongly recommend that you go and watch that video and in fact, you don't even need to watch the video. The comment section is fucking fascinating. Uh, a lot of the comment sections um, uh, on videos that I've made are extremely interesting. And um, it's too bad that uh, I don't really think it's worth making a video about. But um, if you're so inclined, if you're especially if you're a new subscriber to this channel, I would recommend that you go through the library um, click one of the playlists, the creative playlist or the comedy playlist or the commentary playlist and just look through the titles and find some videos that you've never seen before that you might find interesting. And even if you don't watch the whole video, look at the comment section. This, this channel has been graced, blessed, whatever, with some really interesting discussion. And I want to thank you all for that. Um, last but not least, I want to say a big thank you to some of my long-term viewers who um, don't necessarily make videos, or if they do, I've never watched their channel, um, but have been consistently um, engaging with me. Uh, SAS Garters has been a viewer of mine pretty much ever since the beginning and we've had constructive disagreements and we've also agreed about lots of things and I appreciate the fact that you're very thoughtful, that you're engaging and that you've stuck around the entire time. I feel the same way about Raven Slaves, I feel the same way about Afroboy10, I feel the same way about a lot of people who watch this channel. Um, and uh, I want to especially thank those of you who've been around since the beginning who keep on clicking the videos. Uh, my biggest appreciation goes out to the people who watch everything I do. Um, there's very few channels that I watch everything that they put out. So when there's someone who quite clearly from the fact that they comment on almost every one of my videos is watching pretty much everything I put out Flattery doesn't even go there. I mean, I, I, I'm blown away that there's people who hold this channel in that kind of regard. So thank you so much. Look at the fucking time. Twelve and a half minutes. I can't believe it. Okay, I, I really meant this to be a quick video. So thanks again to everybody for watching. I'm going to be here until YouTube goes away or until I uh, get put in prison or whatever. Um, you know, for my, for my radical dissenting views on, on, on society. Yeah, uh, for my incitement to riot. Whatever! You know, I, I don't think I'm going to prison, really. I hope not. I, I don't really fancy prison. What the fuck am I doing? I need to get off, right? This has got that funk. Thank you for watching. May all your ups and downs be ups. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, but if you do, be sure to name it after me.